Mr. Rader, I need to find out more information. On that particular day, the 15th day of January, 1974, can you tell me approximately what time of day you went there? Uh, somewhere between 7 and 7.30. This particular location, did you know these people? No, that's... Uh, No, that was part of my, uh, I guess my, what you call fantasy. These people were uh, selected. All right, so you, okay. okay, you were engaged in some kind of fantasy during this period of time? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Now, when you use the term fantasy, is this something you were doing for your personal pleasure? Uh, sexual fantasy, sir. I see. So, you went to this residence, and what occurred then? Well, <clears throat> um, I had uh, did some uh, thinking on what I was going to do to uh, either Mrs. Otero or Josephine and uh, basically broke into the house or didn't break into the house, but uh, when they came out of the house, I came in and confronted the family and then we went from there. All right. Had you planned this beforehand? To some degree, yes. Uh, after I got in the house, it well, I lost control of it, but it, it was, you know, in the back of my mind, I had some ideas what I was going to do, did but you, uh, I just, I basically panicked that first day, so. Beforehand, did you know who was there in the house? I thought Mrs. Otero and the two kids, the uh, two younger kids were in the house. I didn't realize Mr. Otero was going to be there. All right. How did you get into the house? I came through the back door, uh, cut the phone lines, uh, waited at the back door. Had reservations about even going or just walking away, but pretty soon the door opened and I was in. All right, so the door opened. Was it open for you, or did something? I think one of the kids. I think the uh, ju uh, junior, or not junior. Yes, the uh, the young girl, uh, Joseph, opened the door. He probably let the dog out because the dog was in the house at that time. All right. When you went into the house, what happened then? Well, I confronted the family. Uh, Pulled a pistol, uh, confronted Mr. Otero, and asked him to, uh, you know, that I was there to basically I was uh, wanted, uh, wanted to uh, get the car. I was hungry, food. I was wanted, and asked him to lie down in the uh, living room. And uh, at that time, I realized that wouldn't be a really good idea. So I finally, the dog was a real problem. So I uh, asked Mr. Otero if he could get the dog out. So he had one of the kids put it out. I took him back to the bedroom. You took who back to the bedroom? Uh, the family, to the bedroom. They have four members. All right, what happened then? At uh, that time, I tied him up. While still holding him at gunpoint? Well, in between tying and yes. Yeah. All right, after you tied them up, what occurred? Well, uh, they started complaining about uh, being tied up, and I re, re loosened the bonds a couple of times. Uh, tried to make Mr. Otero as comfortable as I could. Uh, apparently had a cracked rib from a car accident, so I had him put a pillow down on his, for his head. Uh, had he put a, uh, I think he used a parker or a coat underneath him. Uh, they, uh, you know, they talked to me about, uh, uh, you know, giving the car and whatever money. I guess they didn't have very much money, and uh, the, uh, there I realized that, uh, you know, I was already. I didn't have a mask on or anything. They already could ID me and uh, uh, made, a, made a decision to go ahead and, and uh, cut him down, I guess, or strangle him. All right. What did you do to Joseph Otero Sr.? Joseph Otero? Yeah, okay. Joseph Otero Sr., Mr. Otero, the father. I uh, put a plastic bag over his head and then some cords and then tightened it. And this was in the bedroom? Yes, sir. Did he, in fact, uh, suffocate and die as a result of this? Not right away. No, sir, he didn't. What happened? Uh, well, after that, I, uh, I did miss this Otero. Uh, I had never strangled anyone before, so I really didn't know how much pressure you had to put on a person or how long it would take. But Was she also tied up there in the yes, bedroom? Yes, uh -huh. yeah, both her hands and their feet were tied up. She was on the bed. Where were the children? Uh, well, uh, Josephine was on the bed, and uh, Junior was on the floor at this time. 
So we're, we're talking, first of all, about Joseph Otero. So you'd put the bag over his head and tied it. Mm -hmm. And he did not die right away. Can you tell me what happened in regards to Joseph? Uh, he moved over real quick, like, and I think tore a hole in the bag. And I could tell that he was having some problems there. But at that time, the, the whole family just went, uh, they went panicked on me. So I, I, I worked pretty quick. I got what did you, o you worked pretty quick. Well, what I mean, I, 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 I strangled <coughs> Mrs. Otero, and she went out, or passed out. I thought she was dead. She passed out. Then I strangled uh, uh, Josephine. She passed out, or I thought she was dead. And uh, then I went over and uh, put a, uh, and then uh, put a bag on uh, uh, Junior's head, and uh, and then uh, if I remember right. Uh, Mrs. Otero came back. Uh, she came back and. Uh, Sir, let me ask you about Joseph Otero Sr. You indicated he had torn a hole in the bag. Mm -hmm. and what did you do with him then? I put another bag over it, or either that or a. If I recollect, I think I put a, uh, either a cloth or a t shirt or something over it, over his head, and then a bag, another bag. And did, then he it down. did he subsequently die? Well, yes. I mean, I, I mean, I was. I didn't just stay there and watch him. I mean, I was moving around the room. But all right. So you indicated you strangled Mrs. Otero after you had done this. Is that correct? Now I went back and strangled her again, right. and that that finally killed her at that time. So this is in regards to count two. You had <laughs> first of all put the bag over Joseph Otero's head, mm -hmm. and he tore a hole in the bag. Mm -hmm. Then. You went ahead. Did you strangle Mrs. Otero then, okay. or did you go first back? Of all, first of all, Mr. Otero was strangled, or a bag put over his head and strangled. Then I thought he was going down, and I went over and strangled Mrs. Otero, and I thought she was down. Then I strangled uh, uh, Josephine, thought she was down, and then I went over to Junior and put the bag on his head. After that, Mrs. Otero woke back up, and uh, you know she was pretty upset. What's going on? So I came back, and uh, at that point in time, strangled her uh, for for the death strangle. At that time, with your hands or what? No, with a cord, with a with a rope. And uh, then I, uh, I think at that point in time, I redid Mr. Otero, put the bag over his head, uh, went over, and then took. Junior, oh, oh, before that, she asked me to uh, to, to uh, save her son, so I actually had taken the bag off, and then I was really upset at that point in time. So basically, when Mr. Otero was down, Mrs. Otero was down, I went ahead and, and uh, took uh, uh, Junior, I put another bag over his head and took him to the other bedroom at that what, time. What did you do then? Uh, put a bag over his head, I put a, a cloth over his head, a t-shirt and a bag so he couldn't tear a hole in it. He subsequently died from that. And then when I went back, uh, Josephine had woke back up. What did you do then? And I took her to the basement. Did you do anything else at that time? Yes, I, uh, I had some sexual fantasies. But that was uh, after she was hung. All right. What did you do then? And went through the house, uh, kind of cleaned it up. Uh, it's called the right hand rule. You go from room to room. Picked everything up. I think I took uh, Mr. Otero's watch. There, I guess I took a radio. I uh, I forgot about that, but apparently I took a radio. Why did I you got... take these things? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Just uh... what happened then? Uh, I got the keys to the car. In fact, I had the keys I think earlier before that because I wanted to make sure I had a, a way of getting out of the house and uh, clean the house up a little bit, make sure everything's packed up and left through the front door. They went there, went over to their car, and then drove over to uh, Dylan's. Left the car there, and then eventually walked back to my car.